Welcome back guys. Well today I'm out in nature enjoying every moment of spring. Spring just arrived and I'm just out on a little hike to see what's going on. I also wanted to review a couple of uh, Canadian made uh, dehydrated meals for camping because you know spring's in the air, summer's coming and camping season will be upon us. I think a woodpecker just photobombed my shot. <laughs> so stay tuned, it's lots of fun. Whoa, I'm just walking further into the woods here and look at the snow is still straight up to my thigh. That startled me a little bit. Can't even get out without a boot falling off. It's like wedged in there. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> uh, early spring problems. Just take a look out over this marsh and you'll see spring signs everywhere. There's tons of red-winged blackbirds in here trying to set up territories for their nesting. It's just wonderful hearing them sing. So certainly everything is really active in the woods. I mean, the woods are just filled with sounds of life, which is really encouraging, a real boost to the spirits. Certainly this winter has been incredibly hard. You know, it's been long, it's been cold, snow's been really deep. So it's nice to get back out again, enjoy the warmer weather, and uh, just hear that everything's coming back to life. I haven't been back yet to check on the coyotes. I'll probably leave them alone for now because they're rearing their young, like now, if not now, probably in the next month. So that means it's probably a very dangerous location to be at. So I'll be leaving them alone, but I was thinking, seeing at some point of trying to sneak in a trail camera there, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but uh, stay tuned, maybe I'll figure something out. Well, the snow is a bit easier going on this trail, um, rather than my other little incident that I had just a few moments ago. The snow is very deep off trails, so you have to really remember to bring your snowshoes, which I didn't today. So anyway, the snow is going quickly, which is good. It means I have much more access to the woods than I have in the last few months. But let's uh, deke in here and uh, try some of those uh, dehydrated backpacking meals that I brought with me. There's a belly woodpecker in there. Take a look at that. Startled him while he's eating. It's one of our largest woodpeckers. really deep in there. I can't get a really clear shot of them, but you get a general idea. They're about the size of a crow, I'd say. All right, so what I brought with me today are two um, dehydrated prepared meals. Um, and I know you guys, when I you watched my uh, MRE mukbang, I brought the, uh, the US uh, MRE. And you guys really enjoyed the video and asked if I could do a review of you know some meals from other countries. So I thought, why not try a couple of Canadian brands? So let's take a look at what I have. So the first one I have here is the Happy Yak Express, uh, Mandarin beef and rice. And uh, this one is about two portions. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing, but I'll probably have uh, a half portion like they suggest. This one's made in Quebec. And look at the ingredients there. Pretty good stuff. Um, looks like you need to cook it. So this one actually we need to put it in a pot um, and add some water and let it go for about 10 to 12 minutes. So that involves a little bit more cooking. So if we look at the nutrition facts, um, fairly low in sodium for half a pouch, which is about 82 grams. I picked uh, the two that I'm going to feature today because they are, you know, fairly low in sodium. And uh, yeah, pretty good with fiber there and vitamins and protein. And for the price, this is about $15. And oh yeah, look at that. It's gluten-free and lactose-free for anybody that has those intolerances. So let's try it out. So this one is the Hungarian goulash, and it's a smaller portion. It's about uh, 300 calories, about 10 grams of protein. Um, the reason why I'm reviewing this one too is it's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, palm oil-free, and non-GMO. So if that's important to you, this may be something you would want to take on a backpacking trip. If we flip it around, it looks like it's pretty easy to make. Uh, we just put some boiling hot water in there, 
stir it and then seal it and we can eat it within 10 minutes which is a bonus because a lot of these things you know they take quite some time to make um wow look at that the ingredients pretty basic nothing in there you can't really understand and if we look at the nutrition facts um it's got it's very high in fiber high in protein uh, and the sodium actually is very reasonable uh, at two percent so yeah if you can't really have a lot of salt in your diet um, this may be for you so let's make these up so I'm just getting the goulash set up because that will be the quickest to make and then we'll get on with our mandarin beef I give a shout out to Charlie you can see the hat that I won in one of his contests he's NL ghost wolf I want you guys to check out his latest video it's crazy he had a really crazy incident uh, with his friend's snowmobile and I've never heard of this happening so you've got to go over and check out that video on his channel it's pretty intense anyways let's get back to cooking I've got my kit at the bottom of my bag here so I'm gonna end up using um, my little stove set that I have with the little propane canisters it's pretty easy to set up you know you just sort of screw this on to the bottle perfect right on so I just found this flat spot in this log here I'm hoping this will do the trick get her lit up Alrighty, so I'm going to make the goulash first, it's fairly easy, and get that going while we get the other one set up. So I need about a half a cup of water, so that's a bonus, not too much needed there. So this one's got, whew, burn in the bottom of it there. It's about half a cup in there for now. And this is a bonus, it'll be really quick to boil. Well, that didn't take very long at all. All right, let's add this to the goulash pouch. All right, when I smell it, I notice it smells really good, very flavorful, so I'm excited about that. Lots of paprika in here. So I've just added the water to it, about half a cup, and I'm stirring it well. And then the next steps, it says, is to let it sit for seven to 10 minutes, and then we'll give it a try. Mmm, very nice flavor. All right, let's seal it up and we'll get the beef on the go. All right, so it's on to the beef and look at that, it looks really good. You can recognize a lot of the veggies in there. There's rice and beef. So this is half of the package that I have and what I'm gonna do is add half the water they recommend and we'll get this cooking. So I have to simmer this for two minutes um, and then I kind of let it uh, hang out just absorbing the moisture for the following 15 to 20. Alrighty, so there it is. We've added our water, just a little bit shy of 200 mils. And I'm just gonna mix it up and we will pop it on the heat. All right, I think the goulash is done. It's been 10 minutes or so. Let's give it a try. So right off, when I look at the package inside, it kind of looks like the consistency of chili, which is what I would expect. And, uh, you know, everything's nicely rehydrated. You can see the little beans and stuff like that. And the tomatoes it smells really good. The spices are really nice and spicy. <laughs> Let's give it a try. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's tangy, a little bit spicy, saltier than I expected that it would be. But pretty tasty. You know, it feels like this is something that someone would have home cooked. You know, the ingredients, it's basically what you would put in there at home. Maybe a little bit more salt than I put in at home, although it's a fairly low sodium um, meal. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, that. That looks awesome. So I'm just gonna let it boil a little bit more. I also like that you can make it here in the pouch, just add a small amount of boiling water, not really very much. Heck, I could have boiled a little bit of snow here uh, to do the job, but um, yeah, it smells really good. I haven't had a true Hungarian goulash, but I can imagine it probably tastes just like this. 
And um, you know, if you're looking for something that's gluten-free or dairy-free, this one doesn't even have meat in it. So that would be an option for you backpacking. Obviously, this is a smaller portion of a meal. This is only 300 calories. But you know what? That's it's pretty decent amount of calories for a small bag of food and what little preparation it took to make. So it's also really hearty too. Got lots of really solid ingredients like potatoes and beans. So um, you really feel satisfied after you have something like this for a meal. It gets a little watery towards the bottom of the bag, but you can certainly use a spoon or something to get the rest of that out. So that's what's left at the bottom of the packet. Just a little tiny bit of sauce. Oops, <laughs> it's dripping out there. But uh, really not too bad. Probably amounts to about a spoonful of um, sauce. So it's really not too soupy, which is something I like. The thing I wanted to mention about this is if you or your family are allergic to nuts, um, this is actually made in a nut-free facility. So if you're looking for something to take on a camping trip that's safe, this would be the one. So yeah, I definitely give this a four to five. I find it a little bit saltier than you know my liking, but the flavor is good. The ingredients are you know very basic. Um, provides good nutrition with not a ton of sodium and um, provides nutritional needs for a lot of people that have diet intolerances so and you know it's Canadian so uh, I, uh, I really like it. Now let's take a look at our mandarin beef. So since the lid to my Stanley Cup set is gone I've had to cover it with uh, my little seat here so still has to rehydrate a bit for another five minutes or so so I'm just going to keep it covered but already you can see things rehydrating Actually looks like something you would make at home, so this is encouraging. Point out, since I only used half of the portion, it looks like obviously it's settled out and there's mainly rice that's left for my second meal. So I don't know, maybe another time I would probably make the whole thing and uh, just sort of store the rest of it. So bummer, but oh well, I can eat rice with something else. You may have noticed in one of my earlier clips that uh, I brought this as well, the classic marinara with penne. This is made in the US, it's gluten free, and this one's actually a vegan option. Um, I haven't tried, I didn't want to try this one today, I just realized it's way too big of a portion for me, but I will try it out in a future video, so stay tuned. The birds around me are going absolutely bonkers, I think they think they're getting a free meal. I want to show you the mandarin beef, it looks really good. You can see that in there. Wow, it is awesome. You can see all the chunks of food, the beef and the rice rehydrated perfectly, and the little corn. I'll show you what it looks like. So it looks like that. <laughs> really tasty. And it smells excellent. Mmm. Yes. Wow. Happy Yak never fails to provide a good meal. I've had a few of their meals before and they are superb. Mmm. This is what backpacking food should be like. Should taste like home, um, not have a whole lot of extra ingredients in it. And it should look like things you can recognize. It has real beef in there. Mmm. That's hearty. If you ate that whole pack, boy, you'd feel satisfied, that's for sure. Yep, there's no sloppy mess at the bottom. Mmm. This is good. Right on for a Canadian product. I really like this. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five, only because it does require... Um, a bit more preparation, a bit more water, but really and truly, who cares? It's great. Mmm. The beef actually tastes like real beef. It's, it is real beef. Nice and chewy and that nice flavor to it. I really like the spice mix that they have in here. And, you know, the rice is perfectly done with the amount of water that I added. And uh, nice touch having the little slivers of almond in here, too. Yeah, they sure didn't cheap out with the ingredients. Look at this, a full little baby corn. Mmm. <laughs> really high quality. Well, I couldn't be happier with the two brands I reviewed today from Canada. The Nomad Nutrition and Happy Yak. Um, excellent meals, both of them. One's a bit smaller than the other, which is okay. Uh, I really enjoy Happy Yak meals. Um, like I said, I've had them before and they've been really good, haven't disappointed me. Hearty, you know, nice chunks of healthy food, good nutrition. Some of them have higher salt content than others. So, I mean, you just take a look at the back of the package, decide if it's something that you want to eat. But in the end of the day, I'm really impressed. One other thing I picked up for backpacking and hiking and stuff is this Canadian product. It's called Endurance Tap. And it's basically um, a salt and a sugar um, replacement energy gel basically uh, you know I love my energy gels especially when I had that little emergency in the woods and that really seemed to turn me around so 
This one is made in Canada and it's made from maple syrup, sea salt, and ginger. So I'm gonna give it a little try. Sounds fabulous. Like it's maple syrup, how can it not be super duper? Oh man. Yes. <laughs> that is good. Mm. So one of these pouches contains 100 calories and it contains 45% of your daily manganese. So that's amazing. Uh, it's got iron, calcium, zinc, your potassium and your carbs and your sodium. So basically what this tastes like is maple syrup with a hint of ginger in it. I've got a couple packs just to try this out uh, when I was at the store and man, it's good. So need a quick energy boost on the trail. Give it a try. Can't wait to get out in the bush and do some camping. I think I'll be doing that really, really soon. Uh, I just love feeling the pulse of the land at this time of year. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful week. Get out there and enjoy that spring weather. Have a good one.